Are you considering purchasing a new construction home? Or maybe you're just curious about the new construction process compared to the traditional resale process. Then this video is for you. Stay tuned as I explain the new construction purchase process with you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Audrey Rozier. I'm a realtor in Maryland and I specialize in assisting clients in the central Maryland area and also the Baltimore metro area. In this video, I'm going to explain to you what it looks like to purchase a new construction home from a larger builder in the event the home still needs to be built. But before we get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more information about Maryland's real estate market. Now let's get into it. Buying a home from a new construction builder is not terribly difficult. The first thing you're going to want to do is research and choose the builder you would like to proceed with. Take the time to actually investigate the reputation, experience, and quality of work. Look for customer reviews online, testimonials, and any other history of any legal issues or any complaints that they may have. You can also ask friends or family members for recommendations or visit anything online, any online forum or groups to learn more about the builder's track record. It's important to note that this process changes quite a bit though if you are purchasing a new construction home from a builder that is already ready for immediate move-in. Now once you've chosen a builder, it's time to pick your home site and your floor plan. Visit the builder's community or development and check out the available lots that they have. You want to consider factors like location, does it back towards the woods, the size of the home, can you see yourself living there comfortably, and your desired views when you're making your decision. Next, review the builder's floor plans and choose the best one that suits your needs and preferences. And remember to consider your current and future lifestyle as well as any customization, upgrades, or options that they may have available. If you would like to be represented by a real estate agent during this process, it's insanely important to share that information with the builder's representative during your first initial meeting. Depending on the builder, they may not be too fond of you hiring representation after the fact. After selecting your home site and your floor plan, you'll need to review the builder's contract. Make sure you understand the terms, conditions, and any contingencies before signing. Don't be afraid to ask questions or seek some type of legal guidance from a professional realtor or an attorney if you feel it's necessary. During this time, you should also finalize your financing. Larger builders almost always have preferred lenders that they work with where they offer financial incentives, but it's always a good idea to shop around for the best mortgage rates and terms to ensure you're getting the best deal. Next up is the fun part. You're gonna choose your upgrades and any customization that you want on your new home. You're gonna work with the builder's design center or sales representative to select features and finishes that meet your needs, preferences, and are within your budget. Keep in mind that some upgrades may have a more significant impact on your home's resale value than others. So it's important that you figure that out and choose wisely. Next up, once construction begins, it's essential to stay involved and monitor the progress. You can regularly visit the construction site and maintain open communication with your builder representatives throughout the entire process. You want to make sure to address any concerns and questions that you have to ensure that they understand your expectations for the process. Clear communication can help prevent any misunderstandings and ensure that you have a very smooth experience. Next, before the drywall goes up, you're going to want to schedule a pre-drywall inspection walkthrough with your builder. This is an opportunity to inspect the framing, plumbing, and electrical systems to ensure that everything is installed correctly and according to plan. Make sure to take notes and address your concerns with your builder before the drywall goes up and is installed. I know a lot of builders will say that you don't need to do this step, but it's honestly one of the most important steps you can take to make sure that your home meets your expectations. As construction nears its completion, you want to schedule a final walkthrough. You can also do an additional home inspection at this time if you'd like. The walkthrough allows you to identify any cosmetic or minor issues that need to be addressed before closing, while the home inspection can help identify any potential problems or defects that may not be visible during a walkthrough. Make sure your builder addresses any concerns before closing on your new home. Now once you're satisfied, you'll move on to the closing process, where you'll sign the rest of the paperwork, pay any remaining fees, and finally receive the keys to your brand new home. That doesn't sound too difficult, right? If you're in the market to purchase a new construction home, be sure to click the link down in my bio to download your free guide on questions that you should ask your chosen builder before signing the contract. Additionally, if you found this information helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content around Maryland real estate. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch, and I will see you on the next one.